Hi guys, hope you're doing good. In this video, we are going to learn about getter, setter and deleter methods. Let us go ahead and see some example to understand what is getter, setter and deleter method and how to use them. Now here in this example, I have a class called as person and I have four variables, instance variables that is first, last, address and email and I'm uh, getting inputs for first, last and address and I'm processing the email with the help of first name and last name, right? And I have a method called as full name, which is returning my full name with the help of first name and last name, right? Again, I'm processing the full name with the help of first name and last name. Okay, first let me create an object so that we can understand what's happening there exactly, right? So let me say class person name and I say Sam, comma, Edison, comma, India. Now here I've created an object so wherein it calls the init method. Now here my self will be the uh, object and first will be Sam, last will be Edison and ADD will be India. Now here the values will be stored respectively in first name, last name and address that is Sam, Edison and India and here email I'm processing that is Sam concatenated with dot and then again it is concatenated with Edison and then finally it is concatenated with the email address that is email.com right. So let us try to print this. I'll say prints pr dot full name let me call the method full name because it is returning my full name there and I'll say prints I'll say pr dot email address right so let me run this code for you now you can see my first name and last name processed together right which is concatenated with a space in between right my first name and last name and it is returned from my full name method right so here what I'm doing, I say per and then dot full name. When it comes here, it takes the value first name. What is first name? Which is already stored here, right? First name is first, that is Sam. Last name is Edison and address is India, right? That is what happening here in init method. And when I call the full name method, it is self dot first, that is Sam, concatenated with space and concatenated with the last name, that is Edison. That is printed here, Sam Edison. Now when I say, uh, when I call the variable, wait, sorry, when I uh, print the variable with the help of object that is per dot email, it is printing sam.edison. How it is processing? That is first name. What is first name? Sam concatenated with dot and the last name that is Edison and then concatenated with at email.com. So that you got it here, right? Now if I want to change my first name, right? I'll say per dot first, right? I'm going to change only the first name. Let me write my full name there, Samuel, right? Let me clear this out and then run this code for you. Before do that, let me try to print this again. So after changing the first name, let us see what's happening, right? Okay, let me run this code. Now you can see first it is Sam space Edison that is concatenated. Your full name came sam.edison at email.com. Your email is also processed. Now after changing the first name, what are you getting? Samuel Edison full name no problem but email it is still sam.edison at email.com why that is what we are going to see now right now when I create an object an object will be stored with some uh, variables which is there inside right the object is my object per is having first last address and email so initially it is stored with Sam right initially it is stored with Sam and here it is stored with Edison and here it is stored with uh, India right when I create an object my init method will be called and here it will be like uh, Sam dot Edison at email.com so this is what happening initially when an object is created right so once the object is created all these four variables are initialized now when I call the full name it comes here it takes this right what is first first is Sam space Edison no problem it is returned right and when I call uh, when I uh, print email it is printing sam.edison at email.com right when I say per dot first now here the objects object purse value right object purse data what is that first is initialized to Samuel right so it is initialized to Samuel now when I say first when I call first some from somewhere wherever it is the object per belong to what is self here I'll put that as well uh, now I'll say self is per okay now done now this is called only once right this will not be called every time this will be called only once and email will be processed only once 
correct everything here inside will process get will get processed only once when I call the full name, it is printing Sam space Edison. When I call email, it is printing Sam dot Edison at email dot com. When I say uh, per dot first is Samuel, it is initialized. My first uh, variable instance variable is initialized to Samuel. Does anything happening to email? No, nothing is happening because email is inside my init method, right? That's going to happen only once. But when I call the full name, it goes here self. What is self? Self is the object per. When I say self dot per, what is that now? Self dot per. First time it is, uh, uh, first time it is uh, uh, Sam Edison, right? Second time when I calling the object again, right? When I call the same, ob use the same object. Now this becomes Samuel because it is taking from self dot first. What is self? Self is per. What is uh, per dot uh, uh, first? That is Samuel. So it is Samuel space Edison that will be returned back to this place but when I say email what is email it will go and fetch from here what is that sam.edison at email.com right so that is the reason why second time when I'm fetching this it is not happening because that is uh, email address is processed inside the init method and init method will get called only once now what should I do so instead of putting it inside the init method let me create uh, another method called as email right I'll say self so when I do this my problem will be solved right I can just return from here as I did for my full name right so when I do this we can see that let me run this code for you okay fine I'll tell you why it's happening right so when I uh, call the full name it goes here it prints it when I call when I say email what is email now it is no more a variable right so email becomes a method so when I try to print a method it will print only the methods reference right so that what should I do here I'll go and call it like this right I'll just call like that so when I do that it will print first time it printed Sam Edison and then say Sam dot Edison at email dot com second time it is Samuel space Edison and then it is Samuel dot Edison at email dot com it is changed because email is no more a variable which is initialized inside the init method it is a separate method altogether okay let me clear the screen for you now here if I say like I should not change it right this is uh, this is actually uh, already written right this is already written I don't want to change this my email w should be like that only I don't want to change my email at all email I want to use it as my variable only I do I should not change it I should not call it as a method but if I print it it will print only the methods reference that is obvious right so what should I do now so when I want this email to be processed, even though it is a uh, method, right, I'm trying to use it like a variable. What should I do? I'll just use a, a decorator called this property, right, guys, if at all you don't know what is decorator, I've done a separate video on uh, decorator. Please go and watch it, then you can understand, right? So when we will be using decorator, if I don't want to change the functionality of a function without changing the functionality of a function, if I want to modify something, I'll be using a decorator right now here I don't want to change the functionality of what is happening here email should be like this only right so when I do this this email method will be passed as an argument to this property decorator and from there my process will happen right so when I run this code you can see that you can I can still use email as just email only right so let me run this code for you so you're getting the same output without any problem but I'm still using it as like my normal variable but it is not a variable it is a method which is passed as an argument to the property decorator right so from there the email method will be called right so that is a like a, 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 a internal work that is happening right so from here what I'm doing I'll, I'll repeat again for you from here I am actually passing when I say email it is actually passing the email method to the property decorator function from there it internally calls the email method and the value will be returned here got it guys okay fine now can i do the you you may it may raise a question to you can i do that for full name yes i can do that for full name as well right how will i do it i'll say at property right and then from here it is not required for me to call it like a method i can just use it like a variable only right so this problem of will be solved with the help of property decorator. If I want to call it like a variable, yes, I can do it. But if I do it without property decorator method, it will print only the reference. Okay. So let me run this code for you. Yes, it still works. Like right? 
So from here, it looks like uh, I'm accessing the variable, but actually it is a method. Got it, guys? Okay. So this property decorator is a uh, pr process is also called as getter method. Right. So this is also called as getter method. We have uh, tried changing the first name or we can also change the last name. Right. But if I want to change the full name, let us try to do it. Right. I'll say per dot full name assign blessing Jordan. Right. So when I try to do this, like what is full name actually? Full name is a method and not an attribute. Right. If I try to store something to a method, right, what will happen? We'll be getting an error, right? It will say that full name is not an attribute, right? Can't set attribute because it is not an attribute at all, right? It can, we can set value only to an attribute, not to a method, right? But if I want to do this also, right? I want to uh, initialize the value to a method, but in turn, like it has to do something here. For that, we'll be using a method called as setter method. I'll say at, what is the uh, thing that I'm going to do? I'll say full name dot setter right so this method is called as setter method previously what we have seen is property decorator that property decorator is called as getter method but this setter is called as setter method let me say diff full name that will take self by default and one more thing that is going to take what is that that's my string right so let me take uh, let me say it as name i don't have any variable called as attribute called as full name here i have only first and last so let me say self dot first comma self dot last assign I'll say name name is the place where I'm storing the string right this string is stored inside the variable name okay so here I'll say name dot split so when I say split what will happen what is stored in name actually so name is the variable which is storing the lesson Jordan correct so this is what is stored inside the variable name right and what is there in self your object your current object so when this uh, uh, when when i try to initialize my uh, string to a method if at all there is a setter method that will be called now what is going to happen inside the setter method it will take whatever i initialized as an argument right by default it takes the uh, object as argument that will be there in self and name is another argument that is going to store the string which i am passing right now here what I'm doing then I'm splitting the string with the help of split method and it will be stored in first and last respectively. Now what will be there in first now? So my self dot first will be stored with lesson and your self dot last will be stored with Jordan. Right. And when I try to print this again it is a method where it will go it will go to the getter method right it will go to the getter method that is my property decorator and here it returns the value right so let me save this and try to run for you now you're getting the answer first it was sam edison and sam dot edison and after changing it becomes blessing jordan and then say blessing dot jordan at email.com uh, uh, this is why we use the setter method right so if at all i try to do something directly to a method right try to initialize to a method it doesn't happen directly for that we may need to use a setter method right this is how it works now if i want to uh, what delete my full name right so f deleting a object is possible right deleting a function is not possible actually right so how will i do it so to delete a function i let me try to do that first i'll say full name right i'll say del space per dot full name right let me run this code for you when i run this code again you are it's throwing me an error because you can delete an object you can delete an attribute but you cannot delete a method right deleting a method is not possible right an object or a very attribute can be deleted right so that is the reason it's throwing me an error now right now how to solve this right if i want to say that i want to delete the full name which is no more required for me i can say delete first delete last delete email that is possible because these are attributes now email is not also not an attribute because email is a method again there right so if i want to delete my name like how will i do it I cannot do it directly again I need to use a decorator that decorator is known as deleter right so I'll say full name dot deleter and then I need to use a method there I'll say full name of let's say self and then say self dot first assign 
none then say self dot last assign none right and then say I can just say that current full name deleted and from here let me run this code right. so this cannot happen directly but it is possible with the help of deleter method right for that I'll be using a decorator okay so let me save this and run the code for you now you can see like Sam Eddie and then change this blessing chart and, and then after that it is saying name deleted if you have any doubt in clarification we can uh, do it like let me try to print I'll say print per dot full name right so when I print this it should not print anything because it is none right both are none so what it's saying unsupported type non type none because it is both are none right there is nothing I cannot return and I cannot add anything right if you want you can just uh, try to print the first and last separately but also possible I'll say first print per dot last and let me try to do this for you again so what it says uh, uh, okay it's a typo error there let me run it again for you so it says none and none like it means that full name is totally deleted it is there is nothing to do with like right? but if I try to print full name it will go here and then try to concatenate none that is not possible right so concatenating two strings is possible concatenating two nuns are not possible that's the reason it's throwing me an error right? Like, these are the getter setter and deleter method right getter method helps you to uh, get the uh, values from the method as uh, like but here I am in turn I am throw showing it as a attribute right and setter method helps me to set a, a value to a method and not to an attribute which uh, helps me like to do the process right and which which is not possible again deleting a method is not possible right either initializing to a method deleting a method or getting directly from a method as like an attribute it's not possible that is possible only with the help of getter setter and deleter method right I, uh, I hope you understood everything if at all you you have any doubts please comment in the comment section I'll definitely get back to you and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much